This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321, and in today's video, I'm going to be swapping out the medium gold plated steel nib that came on my Caveco AL Sport, the Golden Espresso model, and I'm going to be replacing it with a 14 karat fine nib unit. And the nice thing about these is these nib units, they just screw out and you can just swap them. I did a writing sample yesterday with the medium nib and first impressions are I really like it. Let me get this out of the way. Now, I don't have a converter or a cartridge in the pen yet, since I'm still testing it with different inks. But I'm going to try it with the same ink that I have, that I tested yesterday. And when I get done testing this nib, I'm going to compare it, do some writing samples with my other Caveco nibs and the gold fine nib in my Custom 74. Let's just... Look at it first of all. That's a pretty nib. It's a tiny little nib. But very pretty. Alright, so I'm just going to dip test it. And I know this is a, a pocket pen that's designed to be posted, but it really it fits my hand nicely unposted. And since I was talking to someone in the comments about this yesterday, I've always been a big pen poster, like I wouldn't buy a pen. That was like a deal breaker if it was unable to be posted. But since I've retired and I do most of my writing from just here in my house, I've noticed I don't post my pens anymore. And when I do, when I dip my pens, I just dip it up to roughly the breather hole. And really, you don't even have to dip it that far. The capillary action works in reverse, and the nib will actually just suck up quite a bit of ink. All right. And what I heard other reviewers say is true. This does have that soft feeling that my Pilot 14 karat nibs have. Look how much wetter it is. And it, it this fine nib, this 14 karat fine nib, looks almost indistinguishable from the medium nib, except look how much wetter it is. All right, I'm very happy with this. I'm, you know, it, these nibs are expensive, but for me, it was worth the investment, I think. It writes like I was expecting it to. Let me see about reverse writing. All right, it will do it. If you have, since this is such a wet writer, if you're out and you're needing to fill in like a tiny form, yeah, that will, the reverse writing makes it, I would call that a pilot extra fine. This looks more like a, a pilot medium. So it goes from a medium to an extra fine. It's a little scratchy. I wouldn't want to do a lot of writing in reverse, but, you know, right side up, it's nice. Let me see. Yes, very smooth. It feels like a pilot. It feels like the nib on my Custom 74. Let me go ahead and write with the Custom 74 real quick and just see. Yeah, the softness feels about the same. It's the Caveco fine. I should have put 14K fine. 
The Cafeco fine is a little bit broader. It's more like a pilot medium. It might be like in between a pilot. It might be more like a pilot medium fine. I like that. Let's see how the wetness compares. Yeah, that's wetter than the Custom 74, but it's putting down a finer line also. But the softness of it, they feel very similar. Mm, I'm impressed with that. All right, let's compare this to the other Caveco nibs. I've got my Caveco Percao with a medium nib. I always like this pen for testing inks. All right. They're close, the, the two mediums. This is a different style of nib. It's not interchangeable with the Caveco Sport, but they write similarly. Similar amount of ink being put down. Next, I've got my Skyline Sport with an extra fine nib. So, it's a little bit wetter than this medium nib. They're probably close to the same because one thing about this particular Skyline Sport, I don't know if it's true with all of them because, well, I don't think it is true for all Skyline Sports. My particular pen, if I'm writing, this is like an A6 page, so if I'm writing a page with this pen, it will start out nice and writing nice and dark, putting down a nice amount of ink and then just fade to lighter and lighter as you get to the end of the page and it feels kind of dry by the time you get to the end of the page. It never writes completely dry and starts skipping, but I wouldn't want to write more than an A6 page with it. It starts just feeling uncomfortable. But I will say with my medium nib on this AL Sport, I tested it and this is just dipping it one dip in the ink from the last video and after I did my writing sample up here I did a writing sample on this page this is the other pins here but I did a writing sample here I scribbled this whole page it all looks the same it didn't start getting lighter I had a scrap piece of paper on my desk I was trying to write the pen dry I scribbled all over it front and back and you know it was still writing strong so I'm very impressed with this medium nib and finally the the nib that's given me the most trouble is the extra fine nib on my lily put and it's interchangeable it's got one of those nib units that screws out the lily put the skyline sport the al sport they're all interchangeable the skyline sport there's a little bit of difference to it. The nib unit doesn't screw out. You have to go ahead and pull the whole unit out, but it's the same it's the same nib in those. Now this one I will go ahead and post it because it's just such a teeny tiny little pin. Yeah, this is supposed to be the same nib as the nib on this Skyline Sport, but you see it had a little bit of a hard start here and it just feels drier. Than this one and I don't know if you can see it but I can tell it's putting down less ink. Now one thing about this nib it doesn't get drier as I write like my extra fine in the skyline does but it just writes dry from the get-go. Someone had asked to see the pen that I got from by mistake. I'm getting ready to package it up and send it back. It's the Caveco Skyline Sport Collector's Edition. I think um, this was designed by a Facebook group of Caveco Sport collectors, and I think Paulo from ODE was instrumental in getting this uh, collector's edition, having it made. And so it's similar. It's plastic like my Skyline Sport, but instead of having the silver printing, let's see. I better take glasses. Okay. There's Caveco Sport and it's it says collector's edition. It's a nice pen. And it's got the silver trim. 
And this one has a double broad nib. Look at all that tipping. At some point, I would like to get a double broad nib unit for my AL Sport, but I'll have to get a one that's gold plated. So when I tested this medium nib, I thought, well, I may just use this medium nib for a while. I'm enjoying it so much, but I think I'm probably going to start out with the gold nib and try it with a few different inks. Now that I know it works so well with this ink, I don't know if I'll ink it up with this one or try it, experiment with some other inks. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.